from Bowling Green, Ohio, as we prepare for what should be a great game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Western Michigan is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 28. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Run up the middle. Four yards there on the old quarterback keeper. That makes it second and six. And they make the stop at the 35 yard line. That makes it third and three. going to be stopped short. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. Tackle made at the 43. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Four yard line. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. From the 24 yard line, it's first down. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle made at about the 19-yard line. Number 12 with the tackle at the 19-yard line. That brings him second and five. He's tackled right around the 16-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 57-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. The Broncos are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gives it to the back. And down he goes at the 19-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That makes it second and ten. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. And here we go. Fires 
that quickly to the tailback. Tackle at the 22-yard line. tackled around the 28 yard line the defense didn't stop the pass but they stopped him short of the sticks and that's the important thing here allow him to make the catch but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker he makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line Quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Western Michigan is up a score. Play action. He lets it fly. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Watch two, watch two. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. So they go to the end. And they come away with six, Kirk. And, Brad, I got to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. And he hits the PAT. A quick two-play, 55-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's tackled at the 25. The Broncos are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. There. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That makes it second and six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. it out nice catch on that one he's taken down at about the 23 yard line huge play for both the quarterback and receiver but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw got an opening inside the 10 touchdown bowling green He makes the PAT, a four-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. 
Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Western Michigan we up seven points. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 14-7, Western Michigan. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. And he tackles him hard at the 22. That makes it third and 15. From their own 22-yard line, it's third down. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Brought down at the 42. That's good for a gain of 20 yards. First down. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 43-yard line. Western Michigan is up seven. Receivers got it on the screen. And he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. Number 96 makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line. First down. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It's the ninth play of the drive. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Pressure coming. Quick pass, big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That, that makes, makes it first, first and goal. goal. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And they got him. Great defensive end in college football, just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Here's a running play. Got the corner. The ball is loose. And the ball bounces out of bounds. 
So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. Play 13 of the current check, drive. Check, check, check. Mike 42, Mike 42. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. And he's immediately tackled. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Western Michigan is up by a touchdown. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Feeds it to the back. And they'll get him in the backfield. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page. And then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. From their own 16-yard line. Third down. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. He's to the 40. He makes it to the 42-yard line. The Broncos are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Scrambling around. There's a fumble. They fall on it. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. to catch it he's got nowhere to go so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield now he's scrambling decides to slide to trust your line and the ball carrier to gain the yards they had to for the first down. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator's doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. back to the tailback but he can't bring it in the tailback the intended target well here the quarterback put just a little bit too much on the ball and overthrew it second down 10 to go ball on the 30 tackle made at the 21 yard line 
Ninth play of the current drive. Hey, defense, let's go. Keep it up, defense. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. He's tackled right around the two yard line. Losses on the play. That makes his third and goal. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. So at the end of the half, Western Michigan in front. 17-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This lead at halftime is not insurmountable. You know, you watched the first half, and I really felt as if this team played hard. They played with a lot of energy and a lot of emotion. Just to be honest about it, David, the coaching staff seemed to be a half step behind. The other guy was ahead of them. They knew their tendencies. Second half, you expect to see them break some of those tendencies? Sometimes you have to. I mean, sometimes you come out, and obviously you're, you put your game on tape. They, the coaches know what you're going to come out and what to expect from you. And sometimes quarterbacks, they don't like to push the ball down the field. They like to take the easy stuff. You gotta take it away. Take away what they do best. And you could tell the first half, they weren't ready for what came their way. Now it's your it's your job at the half to come in, put a plan together, be more aggressive. You're down two scores now. You can't afford to be cautious. Put something together to come out to have success in the second half. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. He's got the corner. And they push him out at the 44. We're about set to start things up again. Strike to his receiver, no good. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 44. Quick shot to the tight end and he can't pull it in. Stack in the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. 21 yard punt. Out of bounds at the 31 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled at about the 33 yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 40. Tackles him for a loss. Call it a loss of three yards on the way. That makes it fourth and four.
the punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Here comes the pressure. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 29. Steps out of bounds at the 31. That brings us third and 10. Throws it deep. And it's intercepted. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. From the 36-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 27. And down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Hey, what's your hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Go. <laughs> Number 17 was the intended receiver on the play. Hey, hey, hey. That'll make it fourth and two. Four down, four down. Go. Mike, Mike 51, Mike 51. There you go. He's got it with room to run. He's taken down at the 15. They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. Get to that quickly. What a play, and that is first and goal. and a goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he converts the extra point. Bowling Green to kick. He'll return it from the three. Gets to about the 27-yard line. The Broncos fans have got to be going crazy. It looked like they had this one in hand or could put it out of reach, and they haven't been able to do it. It's a tough game for the fans to watch because their team was so dominant early in the game, and now they've just gone cold, and they've allowed the opponent to get right back into this game. They better find something here to be able to try to get out of here with a win. Got it, and brought down immediately. Number eight with the tackle at the 33-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Western Michigan is up a field goal. Set, 
It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. First down. to try and scramble slides down he didn't get a bunch of yards but it's better that he protects himself rather than taking a big hit on that play second down seven yards to go ball on the 47 yard line Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. That quickly incomplete. Number 81, From their own 47 yard line, it's second down. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. That makes it first and ten. Design route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. And he hits him hard at the 25. Second and goal. One yard to the goal line. Mike 51, Mike 51. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Rose to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown. Stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine-play, 52-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So our score... 21-17. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. 
Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Bowling Green's trailing now after building that comfortable lead in the first half, and it's just slipped away. Boy, it's ugly. And, and if you're the quarterback of this offense right now, you're looking around that huddle saying, fellas, just forget about the previous mistake. Just put it behind us. we got to reestablish our offensive rhythm and try to win this game. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. Number 15 with the tackle at the 42-yard line. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Over the middle, got his tight end. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That's good for the game 13 yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, and that puts them on top. That's his third toss for a score. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. To, to review, review the, play, the play, the ruling, ruling on, on the, the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They'll give it off here. They'll get him for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Man left, man left. Second down and 12. Ball on the 32. Mike 51, Mike 51. Go. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he is drilled at the 36. Quick throw. That's a great tackle. The 47 yard line. From their own 47 yard line. First down. He 
goes out of bounds at the 47. That brings him second and five. Just under three to go in regulation. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. Third down. Throw. He's tackled at the 35. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down to the 25-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Nice run there. He makes it to the nine. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Nice run, and he's brought down. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 13-play, 66-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Bowling Green to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's taken down at the 28. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Under a minute left. He heaves it deep. Got him. To the 10. And it's a whole new ball game.
Penalty Trying to go up by three. three. They'll kick the extra point. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delayed Delayed game. game. Offense. Offense. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 72-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. Who took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So the score now, 31-28. Western Michigan lines up for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. Tackle at the 28-yard line. The Falcons are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for them. Well, this sets up the drama here in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. Throws it out right to the running back, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Second and nine coming up here. Ball in the 29. We have less than a minute to go. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. The Falcons are going to call their second timeout. He's under pressure, and they get the sack. That'll make it second and long. And he stops the clock with a spike. That'll bring up third and long. Third down and very long here. And the defensive line can pin their ears back and come after the quarterback. Here's the halfback on the screen. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. He zips one over to the right. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes an E. Bowling Green's called their final timeout. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Mike seven. Mike seven. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. And the ball game's over. The Broncos with the victory. 31-28. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.